we we've talked in this uh, episode about four horror stories and to review their family infighting um oops let me put, break that up the bad personal representative blended families and the abandoned life partner so why are probate horror stories why are they so common right um the more most common reasons uh behind the horror stories about a state uh about probate i should say have to do with the time and expense uh having to do with uh probate as well as the idea that you know probate is very public it's in a public forum that airs family grievances so if you're going through the probate process everything is that's filed is a matter of public record now the first couple of months of the probate process and i'm you know uh, speaking uh, from you know the perspective of of Maryland, I'm licensed in Maryland and the District of Columbia, so that's the perspective uh, that I, that I'm speaking from. The first couple of months are very uh, time intensive, you know, especially if the person named as personal representative does not have a handle on the deceased finances because the person was you know the deceased was secretive um, about you know, their finances. Um, if they had a business, if they have multiple family members who are beneficiaries to an estate um, or family members who are involved in the probate process who are not diligent, they are unethical, or who just are not law-abiding citizens, okay? Those are all factors that can complicate and unnecessarily extend the period of, of probate. Today, I mentioned four, and I just reviewed them. These nightmares, these horror stories are all inspired by real events. They're not meant to judge anyone's uh, lifestyle choices, but I share them so that you can make smart decisions about your life, your assets, and your legacy. Do you have a probate horror story? We want to hear from you. Contact us via our website at Elsa W. Smith Law. That's Elsa W. Smith Law. We'll talk more about probate horror stories in a future episode. I want to thank you for tuning in to this episode of Women Winning Wednesdays. Before I go, though, I want to offer you our free will preparation checklist. You can go to my website, Elsa W. Smith Law. Go to the resources tab, and on the in the drop down, you'll see free will preparation checklist. Download it, use it. There are other resources there, uh, free, and you are welcome to access all of them. If you need assistance with estate planning matters in the state of Maryland or the District of Columbia, I want to invite you to have a strategy session with us. Give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. I'm Elsa W. Smith, your Maryland estate planning attorney, empowering women through estate planning. Thank you for watching this episode of Women Winning Wednesdays, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.